Welcome to the Ashikai Broadcast, the daily broadcast that spotlights what's happening virtually at the best elementary school in the city of Atlanta. We are in phase two of the online learning due to the current coronavirus pandemic. We hope everyone stays safe by covering your mouth when you cough or sneeze, washing your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds, and practicing social distancing like we are doing today. Why we can't wait to get back to school, it is so very important that we do what is necessary to stay safe. Please be reminded to get online daily to complete our assessments for our core subjects and specialist classes. This is cool because we get to see our classmates and teachers that we have been missing. Students, refer to the schedules that our teachers are sharing in Google Classroom. During this time more than ever, let's remember to be mindful of social emotional learning. Welcome to Storyline Online, brought to you by Screen Actors Guild Foundation. My name is James Earl Jones. You might wonder why I'm doing the reading and not you. I'll give you a hint. As old as I am, I still need practice. Because I learned to read quite early, around uh, by the time I was four. But I didn't read out loud until I was 14, because I didn't talk. You see, I'm a stutterer. And I'm also somewhat dyslexic. But we'll try this anyway. Today, I'm reading To Be a Drum, written by Evelyn Coleman. The artwork is by Amina Brenda Lynn Robinson. During a morning mist, the fog swirled up around Matt, Martha, and their daddy. And when they sat cross-legged, they couldn't be seen from afar, but they were there. Then Daddy West told them a story in his soft voice, the voice that could tap, tap, tap Matt and Martha gently on their hearts. Daddy West began, long before time, before hours and minutes and seconds, on the continent of Africa, the rhythm of the earth beat for the first people. The earth filled the air with spirit. The spirit rose on the wind and flew into our bodies. And our own hearts beat for the first time. We were alive. The beat moved through our bodies and pushed out from our fingers. That is how our drum was born. With the drum, we spoke to the animals and to the people. The earth's heart beat out the rhythm all there is, we listened and sounded the rhythms back for her to hear. Then men from another continent came, men who would not listen to the rhythm of the earth. They shackled us, the people of the earth's color, and flung us into the bellies of ships, bringing us enslaved across the oceans and the seas. They tore us apart from one another and did not allow us to speak our own languages. We were a lost people. We were no longer free. We thought we were no more. Then they took the drums away. But cruelty cannot stop the earth's heart from beating. The earth spirit moved through us still and pushed not only out our fingers, but out our entire bodies. And we became the drums, living drums beating for the whole world we hear and see. We were alive, we would be free. So, when we worked in the fields, we made our feet drums. When we sang songs on the starlit skies, we made our mouths drums. When we talked to each other, we made our speech drums. When we stitched our quilts, we made our hands drums. When we fought in wars, we made our courage drums. When we invented things, we made our minds drums. When we fought for our freedom and for our civil rights, we made our communities drums. When we created music, paintings, sculpture, dances, and dramas, we 
made our art drums. When we wrote down our wisdom, we made our stories drums. When we recorded our memories, we made our histories drums. When we became farmers, scientists, teachers, leaders, entrepreneurs, and crazy people, we made our dreams drums. We were the Earth's people. We were the living drums. We would always be free. Daddy West leaned over and whispered, Listen, do you hear? He stretched out on the earth, his arms spread like a bird's wings. Matt and Martha lay down close beside and put their ears to the ground too. They waited for the magic to be theirs, waited for the hearing of the earth's heartbeat, waited to become. I hear it, Daddy West, said Martha. I don't hear anything, said Matt. You've got to let go, son, Daddy West said. Be quiet and still. You grow to be strong if you learn to be still. Matt let out a deep sigh. His body relaxed, like when he floated on the pond. At last, he heard the earth's heartbeat. I hear it, Daddy Wes. I hear it too, he shouted. Daddy Wes smiled. And what does the earth say? Matt and Martha and Daddy Wes all drummed the earth's heartbeat together. Boom, 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 boom. Now the both of you, Daddy Wes said, will always know how to beat out your own rhythm on the earth. Then Daddy Wes, Matt and Martha took each other's hands and strolled from the field with the heartbeat of the earth sounding their way. You too can be free. Become a drum. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day of teaching and learning.